Welcome back mga kaguro! This is your Gurung Pinoy. If this is your first time to watch our video, don't forget to follow us and like us on Facebook. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us as Gurung Pinoy PH on Instagram. Today's topic is abstract reasoning. This is already part 2 of this topic. This is for civil service examination review, licensure examination for teacher review, and also for entrance exams. Let's go to the first item. All right, the first item that we have here, we are shown three pictures. The first one is that of a telephone. The second one is that of a letter. Then you have an airplane. You're asked for the answer that we should have in the lower right box. Okay, now for us to know the correct answer for this one, let's check the purpose or the relationship between the first two pictures that we have okay so again the first two pictures that we have are the telephone and the letter now as you can see they are related based on their purpose both the telephone and the letter are used as methods of communication so again their relation is that they have the same purpose they are used as methods of communication so that means we should find a picture which has the same purpose as that of an airplane. What's the purpose of an airplane? We all know that an airplane is used for transportation. Okay, so that means which one should be the correct answer? Is it a bus? Is it a television? Is it a clock? Or is it a kite? Okay, the correct answer then, since the first two pictures here are related on purpose, your answer should be letter A and that's the bus. Bus and airplanes are both used as methods of transportation. So again, for number one, correct answer would be letter A. Now we proceed to number two. All right, now we are given three sets here. Okay, so that's the first set, the second set, and the third set. And we are asked for the fourth set of pictures. If you look at our picture, the first set and the third set are exactly the same. Okay, so again, the first set and the third set are the same. Now, which gives us an idea that the second set and the fourth set should be the same? Okay, so that means the correct answer for this one should be letter D because letter D is the same as the pictures that we have for set number two. Okay, so again, letter D is the answer for number two. Now, we go to number three. You are given several circles here. Okay, so on the first set, you have three circles. Second set, you also have three circles. And the last set, you only are given two circles. You're asked for the last circle that we have here. Okay, now let's take a look at the relationships between the circles that we have. So the first set that we have here, the circle in the middle is small, and eventually, it's becoming bigger. Now for the second set, the circle in the middle is eventually becoming smaller again. So as you can see, in the last circle here, there's no more inner circle. Now when we go to the last set that we have, we are given the big circle again, the biggest circle, followed by a slightly smaller inner circle, which is actually a mirror image of our first set. Okay, so mirror image po sila which gives us an idea that the correct answer here should be this image. Okay, so that circle. So that means the correct answer would be letter C. Okay, so letter C is the answer for number three. Now we go to item number four. All right, now item number four looks a little bit confusing. We are given several squares here, and inside each square, we see three symbols. Okay, so the first symbol that we should look at would be this shaded square. Okay, so the first circle that we have here, the shaded square is on the upper left corner, then middle, then upper right. Now, in the next row that we have, the shaded square is in the middle left corner, then center, then middle right. Okay, now in the last row, the square is in the lower left corner, 
the middle then that means it should be here okay it should be in the lower right corner that's it for our shaded square now let's take a look at the arrow okay the arrow here is on the lower left the middle that we have lower right now in the next row we have all center arrows okay all center located at the bottom now the last row we have upper right middle then that should be in here okay so that should be upper left corner now we go to the last shape that we have the circle okay so as you can see here the circle is actually moving clockwise okay so clockwise po you movement and adding circle so from this from this corner here going to that corner then going to this upper left corner here now when we go to the next row it starts from the lower left then lower right then upper right now the last row it starts from the upper left then upper right so that means it should be on the lower right corner okay which tells us that the correct answer should be letter c okay so correct answer for, for number four is letter c now we go to the last item of abstract reasoning number two all right so we are given several squares here and inside the square there's a line with a small circle first we take a look at the movement of the small circle that we have now as you can see here it starts from the upper left corner then upper right then lower right which gives us an idea that it's also moving clockwise katulad po ng pag move ng arms ng ating clock or ng inyong watch okay so upper left upper right lower right then lower left then it goes to your upper left which gives us an idea that the next square here should have the small circle at the upper right okay so dapat nandyan siya upper right ang ating small circle okay now let's take a look at your line okay so yung line dito it's also actually related so shorter line then longer line then longer line then shorter line followed by a longer line so that means the correct answer here should also have a longer line with a small circle at the upper right side of the square okay so which one is the correct answer um in our choices here the one with the small circle at the upper right hand corner is only b and d now as we have mentioned the line should be a long line so that means we cannot choose this as our answer that gives us the correct answer which is letter d all right so that ends our discussion of abstract reasoning part two Samole, if you have any topics that you'd want us to cover please write your comment in the comment box and please don't hesitate to ask us of any questions that you'd want us to help you with Samole, ito pong inyong gurong pinoy na nagsasabing maliit man na butil ng mga kaalaman ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan maraming salamat po